So example number six, on a recent differentiation, you'll be told to determine the y over the x given 3y squared plus 2xy minus 4y squared is equal to zero. So if you want to determine the y over the x, meaning you differentiate everything with respect to x, isn't it? Are we together? So for us to differentiate everything with respect to x, we reduce b, the x. So what is the derivative of 3y squared with respect to x? What is the derivative of 2xy with respect to x? What is the derivative of 4x squared with respect to x? What is the derivative of 0 with respect to x? You reduce really x on both sides of the equation, isn't it? Now having done that, you do the differentiation at the end of differentiation, you check which derivative you are left with. If there's a rule of differentiation to be applied, you apply that rule, isn't it? Are we together? So if you start here, if you differentiate 3y squared, you get 6, 6y. Then at the end of differentiation, you are differentiating a y variable with respect to x variable. You remain with d, dy over dx, isn't it? You are done there. Then the plus. You want to differentiate 2xy. So you see that is a product of two functions, isn't it? It is a product of x and y, isn't it? You use product rule. So you go to half one, you have your 2xy. You can let this 2x to be u, the whole of it, isn't it? Are we together? So you let 2x to be u and y to be? So this is a product of uv, isn't it? Is that okay? So if you have a product of uv, it is uv plus uv. If v u is prime here, v is prime the other side, isn't it? Are we together? Good. So you start, u is 2x. If you differentiate u, if you differentiate 2x to get, then you ask yourself, you are differentiating x with respect to x. You remain with dx over silent, isn't it? You go again, you are v, here is y. If you differentiate v, you get y, isn't it? Then you ask yourself, you are differentiating a y with respect to x. You remain with the dy over. Are we together? So in the end, you collect as you write. What do you want? u prime times v, isn't it? Are we together? u prime times v. What is u prime? 2. v is? Meaning the first thing that you get is 2y, isn't it? Then plus u v prime, isn't it? u is 2x. v prime is 1 times dy over dx, meaning it is just dy over dx, isn't it? Are we together? So u times v prime, u is 2x times dy over dx, you get 2x dy over, you are done, isn't it? Isn't it? Then it is minus 4x squared, there's no rule there, you differentiate it direct, isn't it? If you differentiate 4x squared, you get 8, 8x. Then which derivative do you remain? You are differentiating x with respect to x. You remain with the dx over dx, isn't it? Are we together? See, that is silent. Good, you are done. To be equal to any time you are differentiating a constant, you get 0, isn't it? Whether the constant is 0 or any other constant, isn't it? Good. Having done that, the next step is just to simplify, isn't it? What do they want you to get? dy over dx. Meaning terms with dy over dx, we leave on this side of the equation. Terms without dy over dx goes on the right hand side of the equation, isn't it? So here we have 6, 6y dy over dx. You've collected that. Then this one is plus 2x dy over to be equal to this 2y positive. 2y going to the other side it becomes negative. Negative 8x going to the other side it becomes positive. Are you seeing that? So negative 8x going there is positive 8x. Positive 2y going to the other side is negative 2y, isn't it? Is that okay? So you factorize out the y over the x, isn't it? So we have 6y plus 2x dy over the x is equal to. 8x, of course, we will see 2 is a common factor, is 4x minus y. So you divide both sides by 6y plus 2x, which is the same as 2 into x plus 3y. Isn't it? See, 2 is a common factor here. If you remove 2 outside, you remain with x plus 3y, I'm trying to arrange so that x star, x star like that, isn't it? You must be organized. So from there, that goes with that, you remain with 
dy over dx to be 2 goes with 2 is 4x minus y over x plus 3. You determine dy over dx or you've differentiated y with respect to x using implicit differentiation.